here, Percy, why don't you uh, kick us off here? When I just threw away. <laughs> Dang. Remember when you went open and I picked up my dribble and I was uh, like, oh, yeah. I just threw here. Sorry. Am I muted? Yeah, my messed up. There we go. Percy, you ready to go? We can go ahead and fire away. Ready to go. Hey, uh, my first question is for uh, Jewel Lloyd. Um, I know in the past that like, you've said that you really uh, like enjoy matchup against Diana Taurasi and um, and and that explains why you average like 19 points against them, which is like the highest of your career. But is there something against Dallas who is like second, I uh, I believe, of your scoring? Is there some, something about Dallas that also sort of gets you going? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I, I think in general, it's just, you know, you play against great players and you want to just compete and whether this is just a good shooting gym, uh, the atmosphere, um, whatever that is, I know that I'm just, you know, I'm trying to lock into that. I'm not, you know, that I think that's as, as simple as that, to be honest with you. You know, and um, after you have a first half like that, did you strategically sort of make the move that in that third quarter that you want to be more of a playmaker? No, I mean, they changed their defense. So, you know, like I said, I've seen a lot of coverages before. So when people started top blocking me, I become a screener and that allowed everyone else to kind of get touches. Um, you know, we were able to get into the bonus. And so I just became a screener in those moments and was being patient. I knew um, eventually things would kind of loosen up for a little bit. And then just to like that right there, what happened in that fourth quarter to, to where things were able to be more free for you? Uh, Sadie's and I were in a lot of ball screens, a lot of pitches together, and I was just trying to get to my spots. I mean, I, I think we got to the bonus early in, that, in, yeah. in the fourth as well. So just trying to, you know, get to the free throw line a little bit, um, be patient and getting to my spots. I don't, I feel like we were really patient and that just showed, I think our maturity a lot, just being able to win these close games. You know, I've, and then just my last one, uh, obviously it's a career high for you, but did this feel like your yeah. best performance? I Thank knew that was coming, right? You knew that was coming? She'll have a new one again, you know. Listen, <laughs> this what is not. Oh my goodness! Listen, huh? Huh? No, that one. No, if I make two more free throws, I'll be happy. She but could have had a forty. I keep missing free throws, and it's just it's bad. I, I, uh, I'm frustrated. She's it's bad, but she was eighty percent. Like let's <laughs> let's be real, it was really good. It's crazy. I wanted one Thank more. You guys. You never mind. I I tried. I told you. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, first, just because you're just talking about there, Jewel, um, when you have a performance like that and it's, you know, a career high, incredible game, you get the win. Um, but, you know, you're saying, hey, I missed two free throws. Like, can you appreciate that performance or are you more focused on I could have been even better? Oh, I definitely could have been better. Um, 100 percent. I had way too many turnovers. I'm missing free throws. So. Um, that has to get cleaned up for sure. Um, at the same time, like we just want to win, you know, mm -hmm. and I think that's the, the biggest thing. I mean, it's not easy to play here and to go against, you know, Arike. So, I mean, it's just the matchups, but everyone came in, performed, did their jobs. And so, um, you know, I know I have a standard that I want to play at and I know us, we have a standard that we want to play at. And I think tonight we, we showed that. And Mercedes, um, what do you think like a game like this is it's nationally televised uh, both teams score over a hundred points. Both superstars are, you know, lighting it up like, uh, on a nationally televised audience, what, what a game like this, what can it do to draw in more WNBA fans? I mean, just the attention that we get and the support that we have got so far this season, it's obviously been increasing, but we clearly need more. And just, I mean, the turnout that they had today was a great crowd. They always get a great crowd here. They're loud. They're obviously against us, but I mean, playing in an arena like that is really fun because the energy comes from the fans, but also we're creating our own. So there's, I mean, really high energy from both ends of the floor. And then uh, Mercedes, you were back in the starting lineup. When did you kind of find that out? And then also um, you had your best game of the season, a double-double and a really high assist as well. Um, mm -hmm. I guess we're just Talk about uh, what you found out there. And um, and then also, Joel, if, to add on to that, just your thoughts on Mercedes' performance. Yeah, well, I mean, we've just been kind of switching it up to trying to find out what works best for us. Uh, is this game 10 or 11? Is this game 10? 10. Yeah, so 10 games in, we've just been kind of switching up the lineup, finding out what's going to work best for us on the defensive end, on the offensive end. So tonight I had the opportunity to start again, and I just wanted – 
to come in and provide energy. I know they have great size on their team with Kalani, Natasha Howard, Satu, a walk. They're pretty deep and pretty big. So I just wanted to come in and then use my presence as much as I can and help my team out and help Jewel get a 40 piece. Almost, <laughs> almost 40 piece. Um, yeah, I, I don't think people realize how great Sadie's is. Like she really is a point guard on the floor. Um, her understanding of just the game of basketball is crazy. So um, to me, like this is, I see this all the time and I'm so happy for her and proud of her because I know she was working her butt off to just get back and feel like herself and everything like that. But I mean, trust me, Sadie's is, is the real deal. And I mean, I, I love playing with her and, you know, assists. I mean, she could have had a triple double, my friend. Like she's, she's our uh, Nikola Jokic over here. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then Jewel just, um, you know, Rike, I believe she also had a career high. She had the 41. Um, just talk about the challenges that she presents and just what you were seeing from her out there. See, she made her free throws. See, that's the difference. She did. She did, you know, that's the difference. Um, yeah, I mean, she she's a great scorer. I mean, we know that. And she's a high volume shooter. Um, you know, and for us, it was just trying to contain. You know, we we let her kind of get loose in the second half. And, you know, great scorers are gonna find ways to score. And, you know, that's that's on us. But you know, at the end of the day, like we we were able to get some stops on the stretch. She missed a couple for us late. And um, you know, I have a lot of respect for her and 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 know um, you know know how great she is of a score so for us it's really important to win these games when she does have a career high if it makes you feel better Jewel, uh you were more efficient than she was <laughs> i'll text her later <laughs> tell her <laughs> pretty much more about yeah oh no it's that it's this it's this it's hey, uh jeff do you have any other questions or uh no that thank you and percy are you wrapped up i'm good all right thanks guys Thank you. Sorry about that delay. Coach, why don't you just open us up real quick, just kind of your thoughts on the game, and then we'll open it up to some questions. I'm uh, super proud of this group um, for, you know, <clears throat> our execution today and staying the course through the ups and downs of the game. We're growing in a lot of ways. I thought that Mercedes had great um, contribution uh, with her rebounding and her playmaking. And um, we were, you know, in some tough situations in this game, and I feel like our you know, what we've gone through up to this point has really helped us get through. And um just happy to to secure another road win. Going two and one on the road is really good for this group. All right, Jeff. Uh why don't you go ahead and open this up? Or Percy, you guys can arm wrestle for it later. Uh Percy, why don't you open this up? I'm sorry about that. Uh coach, just your thoughts on um, you know, uh, from the sideline when you see uh, Ricky scoring 41, Jewel scoring 39. Um, as a coach, can you appreciate that in the moment <laughs> or is that something for later? I uh, just want to get your thoughts on that. Yeah, it's uh, staying in the moment. It, it, you're, you know, for Jewel, you, you're trying to appreciate it, but also you're, you know, we're trying to win the game. Um, so a lot of times just watching it um, in film or again, uh, the, the next, you know, after the game, I think is when I appreciate it most, but during the game, when they're going back and forth, um, it's, you know, every case taking some tough shots, Jules going, going in and hitting some tough shots. And it is, it's great for our game. I felt like an all-star game a little bit, <laughs> just um, how, how those shots were going up and how they're making it. But I think the appreciation comes, you know, after you, after I'm watching film and studying a little bit more. You know, uh, I'm not sure, and, you know, I'm sure that uh, your crack PR staff will, like, you know, find this, but, you know, you know, just the last time two players have scored 39 points in a game like this, um, in the big picture-wise, do you uh, do you have a sense as to what that can do for your game? It just bring more attention, more fans, more engagement, um, you know, similar to what has happened in the men's game with Steph Curry and his ability to, to make shots and how the game has adjusted with the three-point shooting, um, you know, lineups are adjusting. So I think, you know, our that's, that's the trend of our game as well. But um, in totality, I just think it's great for our sport. Um, to get eyes on some high level athletes who work their butts off um, and they study their craft and they they perform at a at a level that um, you know is tough to do consistently so hopefully you know more eyes on you know these top players and teams in this league you've seen a lot of jewels like spectacular games uh 
uh, your thoughts on today and and why she was just even, you know, maybe better than she's ever been? Well, it's always the efficiency with Jewel. Um, but today it was also her playmaking. So she's growing in how to beat traps with, you know, pocket passes or with her screening, freeing herself up with screens. And then I know that, you know, Enrique had hit some tough shots, but also her defensive activity was great. So it wasn't for me watching as a coach, it wasn't just the scoring that's impressive. It's how she's leading in other ways and being selfless in other ways to make sure her teammates are supporting her and, and feeling comfortable and confident as well. It, it, it was a more mature 39, but like. And um, we talked about your game um, uh, earlier this week against LA uh, that felt very complete, but tonight or today was the first time that all five scores were in you know, were in, were in scoring wise, you know, and sort of got involved there. You know, just, just your thoughts on as to why everything sort of clicked there. I think as a group, we're just, you know, trying to get better every single day and learning from every game and every practice and every film session. And um, we are hitting a, a, a time in the year where we're, we're seeing, you know, things come together in a way that we want to continue to grow and um, I think the ball was distributed well. I think the activity level and our spacing was better. You know, I thought that, you know, we shot the ball at an efficient rate and we shared the ball. And that is just, we talk about all the time, getting to second side, um, moving the ball, finding open teammates and, and playing, letting your, your offense be dictated out, out of our defense. Um, so it is, you know, as he hitting threes, that's a sign of, you know, what she's doing with, her individual work, um, you know, um, Evie coming in and being efficient and all of those things matter when we're trying to win games. We have to take load the load off of Jewel. Um, and, and I think we did a better job today. And I'm sorry, just the, the last one from, from like me, I'm um, just your thoughts on a two and one road trip and being three and three after an 0 and four start. Positive, you know, we're gonna keep, plugging away uh, brick by brick and, you know, trying to get better every single day. A two-in-one finish to a road trip is great for our group um, to gain some momentum and some some positive, you know, um, <clears throat> some positive success, I would say, uh, with continuing to hone in on the thing and focus on the things that will, you know, help us be competitive, be in games and, and get wins. Um, I'll take 109 points. I know we gave up 103, but to, to score that on the road, to finish off a road trip, I think we are trending in a, in a, in a, in a good way and I'm just going to stay the course. Jeff Brown, go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, first, uh, Noe, congratulations on the win. Um, I know I would say from a national perspective, you know, I, I, I think that like Jewel and Arike are probably considered the two best guards in the league. Um, I don't know if Jewel would say it like specifically, but do you think that when she's playing against Arike that like it's there's extra competitive juices going there, like, a, you know, extra like I want to be at my very best? Yeah, it feels like that. I think we, we thought about it as a staff, um, the games that you know, historically, if you think back, she has really good games against Arike, which is cool. Maybe it's the Notre Dame, <laughs> um, you know, competitive spirit. But I think it's, it's also respect that they have. Like, they want to go against each other. Um, they want to make sure they give their best effort um, because they understand who's on, who's matched up and who's lined up on the other end. And um, it is, it's, it's cool, I think. And I, I feel you, Jeff. I feel like there's some extra juice when we play Arike. <laughs> is great and then um i know you've talked multiple times to us recently about how evie doesn't feel like a rookie obviously she had a lot of um you know she had some years of pro in europe um but i mean like i think this is her third start in a row third straight game in double figures a career high with seven assists like the production you're getting from her since entering the starting lineup is that even more than you could have expected it's um, yes, you know, it's obviously understanding who she is and, and as a player in Europe and um, knowing that she has to have an adjustment period in the W, I think she's done a great job. It's 
she has a confidence about herself, a poise about herself, an understanding of the game at a high level. And I'll say it again, she missed a week of training camp. And so I think, you know, gaining another um, week of just practice and experience and getting into the lineup where we are depending on her to be her best self. Um, you just see her taking the reins and um, taking the opportunity to um, and maximizing it. And, um, you know, she's confident. We're communicating during the game. Her mind is constantly thinking about, you know, our players, how to set up our players. But also the thing that I, I, I love is just her defensive effort. She doesn't care if she's matched up on Enrique or other guards and she's very confident. So, um, yes, that I am you know, pleasantly surprised, but now it's expected. And then before I let you go, we got to talk about Mercedes performance, the double, double 12 points, 10 rebounds and five assists. I thought she was huge. She also gave you a really good boost in the third quarter when Jewel didn't score. She did. And uh, this is the best game that Mercedes has had this season. Um, this is who we have grown to love and know. Um, I know that, you know, last year was very tough and she's continued to round herself into shape and coming off of an injury, but she stayed the course. She stayed locked in and, uh, uh, and things are coming for her. So if we can have that effort from Mercedes every single night and maybe not just in what the, the stat sheet says, but her activity level, um, her rebounding, I think um, it helps us tremendously. Thank you, Noe. Thank you, Jeff. And uh, just so you know, the combined, the record for the most combined points by opposing players had been 78. So this, uh, the two combining for 80 um, breaks the record for a non-overtime game. So nice. there, you, there go. you go. All right. Thanks, coach. That's Appreciate the crack staff right there. That's <laughs> the crack staff right there. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you all later.